On March 3rd, 1985, 33-year-old Shirley Durden was snorkeling for abalone off Wiseman's Beach in Peak Bay, South Australia. With her in the water was her husband Barry and their family friend, Keith Coventry. At about 12.30 p.m., the trio decided they were done snorkeling, so they headed back in towards shore. The two men were about 30 feet or some 10 meters in front of Shirley swimming when they came across a large boulder, which was about 150 meters off of shore. And they climbed up on this boulder, which was just under the surface of the water, presumably to just take a rest or wait for Shirley to catch up. So just their feet are in the water. Now, as soon as they climb on this boulder, Keith says he hears a loud scream from behind them. And as he turns around, he sees Shirley being lifted high up out of the water. And she is in the mouth of a 20-foot or 6-meter-long great white shark, and it's got her by the legs. As the shark comes back down in the water, it shakes violently, and it tears off both of Shirley's legs. And at this point, Shirley is making no more noise. She's just floating lifelessly in the water. Barry begins screaming frantically, she's gone, she's gone, and he tries to leap in the water to go swim out to his wife. And Keith grabs onto him and has a hard time just physically restraining him. He knows that he's not going to be able to help his wife. And this shark is still right there. It's just circling around. And it consumes her legs. And then it comes back again. And it grabs Shirley by the upper half of her body around her arm and her head. And it bites down, which at this point, it removes her arm and decapitates her. A fisherman by the name of Kevin Hirschhausen is in his 4.5 meter boat nearby. He hears the commotion, he sees the attack happen, and he comes speeding over in his boat to try and help. By the time he gets there, just her legless and headless torso is floating on the surface of the water, and he's going to try and retrieve the remains, but before he can... This gigantic shark comes back a third time and it grabs her torso and submerges and then heads out to the deeper portion of the bay. Another man by the name of Kevin, Kevin Wiseman, who this beach is purportedly named after, is watching from his house, which is on a cliff overlooking the bay. He saw the whole thing and he said that this shark was much larger than Kevin Hirschhausen's 4.5 meter long fishing boat. One of the more tragic elements to this story is that Shirley's four children, ages 5 to 11, were all watching from the beach 150 meters away, which is, for reference, about one and a half American football fields. So her whole family was right there watching. 